Welcome back. I'm joined now by Brenda Chesney, mm -hmm. who is here to talk about the upcoming Renaissance Fair, which I am very excited mm -hmm. about. So why don't we just get the logistics out of the way. When is it? I know it's next weekend. Give us some times there. It's April 27th and 28th. Um, on Saturday, it's from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., and on Sunday, it's 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Awesome. And who puts the Renaissance, the Renaissance Fair on? So the Renaissance Fair is actually hosted by Juniper Ridge Community School. We're a local charter school here in Grand Junction, but it's one of our biggest events of the, of the year. It, it definitely is huge. I went last year for the mm -hmm. first time. I had never been to one before. Tell me about dressing up because everybody there was dressed up. You right now are dressed up. I don't know if we can if we can get a shot of this. Your your dress right now. If you want to like step, step out. out there, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Yep. <laughs> Um, dressing up is one of the fun parts about it, but it's definitely not required. We encourage everybody to dress up if they want because it does add to the ambience of the fair. Um, but you can come in anything. And there's a ton of stuff to do there. What are some of the uh, booths that are going to be back this year? So some of the new booths that we have, I mean, we have over 50 artisans and vendors coming. We have our beer garden, which has been expanded to include even more mead and wine, um, beer, and hard cider. Um, and then we also just have all of our great entertainment. Um, so we have Celtica Pipes Rock is coming back. They which, were so good last year. Oh you know, yeah, people love them. They're wonderful. They put on a wonderful show. Um, we have new mermaids, so we actually have live mermaids in the tank that will be swimming. What? We have fairies. We have all kinds of great stuff, and we have a lot of new entertainment too. Awesome. And then my favorite part last year was I learned I'm not too bad at knife throwing. <laughs> is that where there was knife throwing, there was axe throwing, there was a giant catapult. Is that going to be going to be back this year as well? Yep, we'll have the trebuchets will be there and they also have a giant crossbow type instrument that they shoot things with and they'll have axe throwing um, and the knife throwing and arrow shooting also. So for somebody like me who had never even seen one of these things before, what, how can you describe it so that it's not, I was thinking, I don't even know what I was thinking, but it was amazing. What are they going to see here for the first time? So the wonderful thing about the Grand Junction Renaissance Fair is that once you buy your ticket, you walk through the gate, which is actually a large, huge castle front, and it's a completely immersive fair. So you just are transported back in time kind of to a 16th century Renaissance village, but with a flair for fantasy, because we do have mermaids and pirates and fairies and all kinds of other great things also. Um, and a lot of people think of it kind of like the shows that you would see at the Excalibur or other amusement parks. And it does have some of that to it, but mm -hmm. it also has a lot of other really just good quality entertainment, um, comedy shows, music, and then we also have the best jousting coming in this year also. Ooh, that was pretty good last year. I was excited about the jousting. So this year we actually brought in, we have, we're so excited. So this year we have Charlie Andrews and the Knights of Mayhem, um, who is, it's not like the kind of jousting, like again, you think of Excalibur, it's kind of theatrical. It's a show that people put on. This is not that. Um, this is hard hitting, full combat, complete competition jousting wow. where they get on the horses and they try to knock each other off. And on top of that, Charlie Andrews is actually the 12 time world champion jouster. So not only is it real jousting that you see like on the movies and in TV, it's brought in by the best. That's unbelievable. And what time is that? I know it, that was like at a scheduled time last year. We have it twice a day. Um, our full schedule is up online because it changes a little bit each day. And you've been doing this for a while. What's your favorite part of the Renaissance Fair? It's really hard to decide because it's so much fun. Um, my favorite part is just all of the magic and all of the, the fun and the entertainment. It's so great to see all the families out there, um, kids who are brought to tears because they got to meet the fairy um, or the, the girl last year. We had a girl who was so excited to meet the knight because there was a female knight and she got oh, to see it cool. and it made her whole, you know, it made the whole weekend. So it's a great family fun entertainment event, but it's great for everyone. We have a lot of just plain adults who come and it's, it's great. It's so much fun. And jumbo turkey legs. Jumbo turkey legs. You and don't mead. want to miss that. Mead. We have the best mead, too. So good. <laughs> I'll be there. She'll be there. So don't forget, you can get your tickets right at the Castle Gates. Yep, you can buy them at the gates or you can buy them online, too. All right. And we'll have all of that information on westernslopenow.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be right back after the break.